Hi everybody, today we are looking at identifying the key features of our tail of fear staying out. So by now you should have imitated the text and that means that you should have learned it, added your actions and you should know it off by heart. If you haven't, don't worry because you can still keep revisiting the text to do this over the next couple of days in any spare time you've got. So when you look at the text today, you will see as you go down to the bottom that there is a grid and this grid identifies our features and what you will need to do is find them in the text and highlight them and I'm going to show you how to do that now on a laptop or a computer and I'll explain how you can do it alternatively if you can't do what we are doing on a laptop or computer. So first things first you will need to pick the colours that you would like to use and they can be any colours that you like. So I've picked yellow for speech, green for sentence of three, blue for fronted adverbials and I've left the bottom one blank just so I can remind you how to fill in the box if you're unsure. So all you need to do is tap in the box, click in the box and go to the top. Along the top you might have a jug but I actually, if you can't see it, I need to click more which is these three dots here and then there's my jug there and then I can choose any colour. The best ones for highlighting so that they're not too dark are these ones along the top here. So I'm going to go for that one. Okay, so they are my four colours and I'm going to highlight one of each for you from the text. You might have some different features to identify, that's fine, but if you have the same as me, you can also magpie the ones that I've done as well and add that to your work. So I'll just get rid of that. So I'm looking for speech first. So one of the easiest clues when you're looking for speech is you look for the speech punctuation. So if I go right to the top, I can see it in the first line there, speech punctuation, okay, but no fooling around. So all I need to do is click, drag my mouse over the top of that small phrase and I can stop when I've done the final inverted comma and I need to make it the right colour. I've actually forgotten the colour it's meant to be, yellow. So... This time you need to do it slightly differently because it's highlighting it rather than filling in a box. So you will need to click this button here that says highlight colour and you will click that same colour there, yellow. Okay, and that isn't the only example of speech in the text, but you will be able to look throughout the whole text and find the other ones and add them to yours. Next one, sentence of three. Now this might be a new piece of terminology for you. A sentence of three is where we have three different points in one sentence and we separate them with a comma and an and. So we have the first point and then a comma, the second point and then an and, and the third point and then a full stop and that is the end of our sentence of three. So here is our first example. Kev got in the tent, comma, turned on his torch and we stared out across the garden, full stop. So this, this one's actually quite confusing because it's got a, an, a fronted adverbial at the beginning as well. But that's fine too. But usually you would just have this sentence of three here. So I'm going to highlight that green. There is another example in the text that you may recognise because it's actually slightly different than the version that I sent you. I've added another sentence of three in just to give you one to look for because I wanted to be able to give you an example as well and there was only one to start with. So I've changed another sentence into a sentence of three. So that will be the one you're looking for. Then we've got fronted adverbials. Well, I've just mentioned one of our fronted adverbials here. There we are. And finally, we've got a short sentence. Looking for a short sentence. There we are. Now, you will continue to do that for the other examples throughout the whole of the text. And if you've got different features, you will just be looking for the different features. You won't need to look for these particular features as well. But if you can't do this because you're on a tablet or something that doesn't allow you to highlight and fill in colours, all, all you can do is you can either write out this, um, the feature, underline it as a heading, so you would write speech and then underline it as a title, 
and then you would write the examples of speech out and you can do that in your yellow book and then have someone send a picture through Class Dojo. Or if you don't want to write them all out, you can go onto a Google document and you can type them out. And if, if you want to um, colour them in when you write them out into your book, that would be absolutely fine. But typing them out or writing them out is absolutely fine if you don't have the tools you need to be able to highlight and do the colours. OK, so that's your task for today. And then remember, if you haven't fully learned the text yet, do keep going back to it and do keep practicing it with your actions.